in between the struggle of classes. The college student needs to eat well. What do we have here? A tortilla pizza with three layers of cheese and a side of ranch. Yum. Mom would be proud. He's living the ham's life. Be in the presence of these head chefs, Chef Gilker. It's a pleasure. Wow, can I just say I'm your biggest fan? Oh, for sure. For wow. sure. What are we cooking up today? Look, all right, so tonight, whipping up a little shepherd's pie, mm. kind of a little hot dish shebang. So, we got Chef Matthew working on the taters, or specifically the potato toppings, because they're not quite mashed taters. They aren't mashed. It's a little bit different. Got a little cheese in there? Right. No. You know, I'm working on the meat right now, and we'll be working on the rest of the filling, you know, once we add, start adding in the vegetables and such, mm -hmm. so it should be delicious. I'm looking forward to it, you know? Tell me, tell me, what inspired you to create this dish? You know, actually, so back in the day, you know, young Jonah, what was this, 36 years ago, back when I was still living with my parents before I get mm -hmm. kicked out and all. So, you know, my mom would make this. After my dad and I, we'd come back from the coal mines, and especially, you know, during the winter, you get down in the coal mine, it's hot as it get up down there. And then you come up and it's like negative 30 up because we're in Scon and it's just freezing. So my mama makes some shepherd's pie and really warms you up from the inside out, you know. So it just brings back those Brings back good memories, memories, you know. A lot of warm memories, so, you know. Gosh, so tell me, where in Ireland did you travel to to be so inspired to create this dish? Yes, so actually it was Glocka Kanga Hanga. Is, ah, the, is that by... The Lock right next to Loch Lomond. Ah, just perfect. yeah, it's just north of uh, Coal Can, actually. Okay. Um, so it's yeah, it's a nice region. It's pretty pretty quaint, actually. You know, the goofy name. It was actually settled by Vikings first, and they named it. That's why it's called Skonga Hanga Hanga Hanga. You know. So Matthew, so tell me how. What is like the technique used to chop up these carrots? Well, you know, I take. I see they're all like. Different shapes. Is that like oh, a so, yeah, this, special... this is a culinary skill. I lived in ah. France, right? Actually, I learned it in Ireland. Um, okay, I took right. a knife, right? And I took the carrot and I hit the carrot with the knife. And then Just I cut it. Right. Right. And was the carrot even on a cutting board? Or was nope. it like in midair? Ah. It was midair. I threw it okay. up. So I like diced fruit ninja it. vibes? Yep. Wow. Wow. You heard it here, folks. Fruit ninja vibes. Now tell me, I noticed some. Oh, Chef Gilbert just grabbed the spice supreme. Mm. The spice is nice. Are Man. we sponsored once again? Oh, we are sponsored as usual. Our relationship. Has just continued to grow, to blossom, to flourish. Some might even say with Spice Supreme, you know. Hey, I got a question for you. Uh, what, what's happening with Eden Butter? You know, where's Eden, Eden Butter? Ah, uh, so you might know that I am in fact the CEO of uh, Eden Butter and Co. Plus Foods. Eden Butter, Peanut Paradise. In your butter. Uh, <laughs> um, so we have actually just expanded to a whole series of nut butters. We have almond butter, coconut butter. Um, Styrofoam packing peanut butter. All right, I just wanted to look at this butter here. Um, no, this, nice... is, this is butter. This is butter. What yeah, she sells right. ain't quite butter. It's, you know, it's more like a schmear. You know, a schmear. A schmear. A shred, if you will. I could, I could be okay with a shreddable nut paste, perhaps. Uh, All right, and I see you're pouring the carrots in there. Ah, yep. mm, hear that Using a special pulse. technique. You gotta go. It's in your contract. I don't get paid anything. You're getting paid in Eden Butter. Okay. Okay. Tell me again. Will it? Three, two, one, go. Welcome back to another episode of Carol Street Kitchen. Good to have you guys back. Thanks for tuning in today. Let's go see what they're cooking up in here. And we got. I, I'm sorry. I'm. <laughs> um. So looks. Um, are fun. you are you hosting? Today? I am actually hosting. Yeah. I was oh. invited by a chef, Chef Gilbert here. 
Oh, Chef Gelker. Okay. Who are you invited by? Yeah, Chef Gelker. Yep, same guy. <laughs> Chef, Chef Gelker. Uh, did you double book who's, yourself? Who's who's it looks like I double booked. Um, All right. Well, uh, so, yeah, I can, I can take it from here if you want to head out. I mean, maybe you guys could, like, arm wrestle for it? Or, like, okay, maybe some more. Some more. Okay. okay. What if we co hosted? No. Okay, right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hey, Eugenie. Hey. Yes. <laughs> Looks like I'm the host. Thank you very much. All right. You know what? I like that idea when you said you should co host. Okay. All right. So obviously coming into this episode of Carol Street Kitchen, you did not know that you would be co-hosting. No, what was your no. first impression upon meeting the other co-host? <laughs> you go first. Oh, well, I was just surprised and just so excited. Yeah, like you couldn't even, like biggest, oh my yeah. Wow. <laughs> my co-host? Let's take a moment. She sucks, okay? Have you met Chef Matthew? Yeah, oh, of course. So well, yeah, we're tight. I don't think I've met you actually. We go way back. Oh yeah, we go way back. What's your we name? Back. Yeah, Allison. Yeah. Uh, oh, El. Yeah. Oh, we met one time. Where did we meet again? Um, we're neighbors. So, uh, what do we got cooking up today in this? In this. So right now. What do you call this first? This, this I call a big old pan. Is the professional term. Yep. Um, I'm smelling ketchup. Lots of ketchup. So and no ketchup was used in this at all. Yep. This ketchup sucks. <laughs> So, you know, we use tomato paste, actually, instead of ketchup, because... Organic. That's right. It's organic, man. We gotta use, you know, the best ingredients only. No ketchup. Ketchup's bad. Okay, okay, um... <laughs> was that ketchup? I need an explanation. <laughs> is this a reference? Okay, you know what that reminds me of? I wanted to ask you guys, where is Mr. Matthew Sweetlight hosting? Mr. Matthew, Matthew Sweetlight? Oh, boy. What's going on with him? What are the information about his whereabouts? He says it. Contrary uh, to popular belief, he's not with the sus girl. Ask me if I'm a fish. Are you a fish? No. <laughs> How would you rate this out of 10? A solid 42. Mmm. The answer to what's the meaning of life. 